What's up guys and geeks, Dem17 here, and welcome back to another custom showcase video. Today we have my LEGO Custom Master Chief, specifically from Halo 2, or Halo 3, because he technically has an assault rifle. But yeah, um, so, I made this guy actually before all of the uh, trailers for Infinite, which looks, hmm... It looks really good. It has the potential to be really good, in my opinion. Um, but I think that we need to wait for more details before I can make my mind up on how I feel. Because I'm kind of 50-50 about it at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Um, like I said, this design is primarily based off Halo 2. The only reason why he has an assault rifle is uh, because that's the only... Uh, Halo weapon I have to hand at the moment. Um, I do think I have a BR somewhere, but honestly, the assault rifle is kind of more iconic, even though I prefer the BR in game. But yeah, so uh, this figure, unfortunately, before I get into the showcasing of it, this figure unfortunately does not have leg articulation. Uh, just because of the fact that it's like three coats of uh, stuff because you've got the legs that are painted green and then you've got the black on top of that and then you've got the varnish on top of that so the chances of them moving are very slim thankfully like I said in my last video because I haven't done the back yet I'm not going to do the back of the legs so I guess he can move his legs back but it's a, it's a bit risky in my opinion um, so yeah, let's just start by doing the assault rifle, I guess. The assault rifle is very simple. It's just a mega blocks or mega construct as it is now. Assault rifle. I cannot tell you which version of the assault rifle this is from the mega construct sets because I have no idea. I got it back when I wasn't really into Halo and it was just cheap, so I just got it. Um... The only thing that I did do on this was, if you can see, please, you can kind of see I painted the blue there on the inside of the thing, but other than that, it's just the standard Mega Bloks Assault Rifle, so I think that looks pretty good, and it looks better than the uh, third party Lego ones in my opinion. Uh, so yes, let's start, as I normally do, with the head. Now the head is from, I think it's Brick Forge. I know it's definitely not Brick Arms, and that it definitely starts in Brick. That's all I know. I think it's the Brick Forge Space Marine helmet. Um, it's kind of the standard for most Halo 2 slash 3 custom Master Chiefs. Um, so yeah, I painted this. I got the Sun Green version. You can't actually see that. Because um, I paint the underneath as well. Good for me. Um, I got the sand green version and mixed up my own olive green colour. Painted it that colour. And then everything you see on the helmet is painted by me. I'm just going to give you a 360 before I go into depth of what I've painted on it. Um, so, yeah. The visor. I just painted a sort of light yellow colour, I was, dark yellow sorry, I was going to paint the uh, sort of the weird lines that he has on the visor, but after like three attempts I kind of gave up, so yeah, and this um, bit here is just a result of the paint being slightly wet when I varnished it, which was my mistake, but I do think that it had sort of just like a shine to the visor, so I kept it on. Um, the so I guess the nose sort of bit you could call it is painting grey as hopefully you can see I've it doesn't just go on it goes further onto the front of the helmet as well. Uh, painted the black lines down the sides of this bit sort of the mouth area. Um, paint this trapezium there. Paint the angled lines on either side which I do think 
look better than having another line go like that because I just don't really think that looks quite well quite good should I say on the uh, customs I've seen um, but yeah I painted the indented bit here black to represent those tubes uh, painted the lights on the side bits which you can't really see from the front from front on but once you get to the sides of it you can see it the sides of the visor I hope you can tell the difference because there's a bit that's black and there's a bit that's grey on it um, yeah hopefully you can see that top I painted all of the black lines you see there um, tried to make it as accurate as possible to the actual Mjolnir Mark 6 um, the back just painted this bit black here and that bit up there which is where the Cortana chip goes in which I don't have a Cortana made yet but I think I will make like a, a statue piece of Cortana at some point for Master Chief to sort of hold the torso um, many people have a armor piece from the same people who make the helmet I don't think it really looks right so I painted it myself because in my logic I paint clone armor just on the torso I paint Iron Man armor just on the torso so I paint Spartan armor just on the torso. Um, so yeah, like I said, in with the helmet, everything you see here is fully painted by me. This is based off the Halo 2 version, so it doesn't have any of the battle damage up here or the crack there or anything. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I painted the black bits, the green bits, the, out the outlines. And I did a bit of shading in bits like here and here, where I couldn't really tell what colour it was. Whether it was meant to be grey, black, or just dark. But I looked at the, I had a look at the uh, Halo 3 one, and they were just sort of areas that were dark. So, yeah, the arms, um, unfortunately, the arms are slightly different on either shoulder. And that just because of the size of the shoulder pads. Um... But yeah, uh, much like everything else, painted it base of olive green, then just painted everything on myself. Um, the arms were very tricky to do because they're actually very intricate and have a lot of lines. Um, so yeah, very hard to do, but I think I did pretty well. Um, looking at the back of the arms there, you can see... Uh, it's not really much to uh, commentate about, it's kind of all pretty self-explanatory. Just all these black lines and undersuit areas and that. The legs is um, probably one of the best parts about this figure, I think. Especially the thighs, I really like the thighs. With the, um, the lines that go here and across the sides of the torso, nothing on the back like I said at the start of the video. Um, the two black lines here, all of the undersuit areas. Let's see if I can just get him to lean back slightly so you can see the um, where it ends the armour. Uh, I still, I just hate moving the legs because I feel like everything's going to go on me. Um, yep, the knees pretty self-explanatory as well. If you look at the um, Mjolnir Mark 6 from Halo 2 and 3, you, it's definitely very pretty self-explanatory with the knee pads and the lines that connect the knee pads. The feet um, aren't even either. Um, first, before I do that, let's have a look at the sides of the legs. As you can see there, yeah, very simple. But legs much like the shoulders on the arms are not very even, but, uh, well, they're good enough to pass for me. Um, 
yeah, like I said, pretty self-explanatory. Painted the hills, the bit in the middle. By hills, I mean like semicircle areas. I don't know why I said hills. Um, yep. Yeah. Well, that's about it for uh, John One One Seven. See if I can get him in a interesting pose without scrapping, scraping all the paint off. There we go. Um, obviously. Compared to a standard minifig, he's just about the same height as one. Um, I know that Spartans are meant to be like 7 foot, but I don't really have any plans to make any human minifigs. Like standard humans, like Johnson for example, I don't really plan to make him. I only really want to make um, Chief and the Arbiter, and maybe Halo Infinite Chief, but yeah. So I've just sort of kept that. There's no work in progress updates uh, currently. Because I'm actually recording this at the same time as my last video. Um, but that about wraps this video up. Um, so thanks for watching. If you liked this video then you can press the like button. If you liked this and my other videos then please subscribe if you like. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you, hopefully, in the next video. Bye.